Hi, Natasha. I just heard your mom told my mom. She said you're getting married. Is it true? Hi, Sasha. I haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, it's true. It's obvious my mom can't keep her big mouth shut if your mom has already heard about it. She's probably just really excited for you. That's why she wants to tell everyone. It's a good thing. I'm really happy for you. Congratulations, Natasha. Thanks, Sasha. Don't worry, you'll be getting an invitation to her wedding as soon as we start sending them out. You'll be able to make it, right? Of course I'll be there. We've known each other since we were kids. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'll be waiting for the invitation. Well, once we figure out where and when the wedding will be, we'll start getting the invitations ready to send out. I guess I already know your answer, though. Yeah! It'll be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how great it'll be. We're gonna keep it pretty small. To tell you the truth, getting this wedding planned is a lot harder than I thought it would be. There's so many people we have to meet with and things to decide. I'm really busy with everything. It was nice to hear from you again. I'll talk to you later. Oh wait, hold on a moment. Actually, there's something I want to discuss with you about your wedding. Do you have time to chat right now? It won't take much longer. About my wedding? Yeah, what is it? Do you have a request about where you want to sit at the reception or something? No, nothing like that. But I was just wondering if it's all right with you. Would it be okay if I made the wedding cake for you guys? Huh? I haven't told you this yet, but I've finally gotten my own bakery. That one I've been dreaming of opening for so long. It's just off Main Street on 3rd Avenue. It's not a big place, but it's nice. It's more of a cake shop than a full bakery. I do mostly cakes, cookies, and sweets. Only a little bit of bread. You got your own shop? That's great. I know you've been dreaming about doing that for a while now. I mean, it's really not that great of a place. It's just a small little shop. It doesn't matter how big it is. It's your own cake shop. That's awesome. I know you studied baking and pastries and stuff at that culinary school a few years ago. I think it's great that you've opened up your own place. I'm so jealous. Now you've got your own business and you can be the boss. <laughs> Thanks, I'm really excited about it. But I've only just opened it up. I don't have many customers coming in yet. And to tell the truth, I don't have much money left over for advertising. That's why I was kind of hoping I could make your cake for you. Maybe get some word of mouth spreading and getting my name out there. It would mean a lot to me. Of course. I totally understand where you're coming from. I'm sorry for springing this on you all of a sudden. I didn't mean to put you on the spot or anything. No, don't worry about it. If you're willing to make my wedding cake for me, that's great news. I'm really happy. It'll be one last thing I have to plan. If you want to do it, I'd love to take you up on your offer. Really? Of course. Ah, but let me just double check with my fiancé first. Is that okay? I'm sure he'll be fine with it, but I think I should run it by him before I make the decision. Yeah, no problem. See what he says. And don't worry about the price. You're a close friend, so I'll give you a huge discount. Really? That is, if you'll let me make it for you. If you do, I'll make sure it's a wedding cake that no one will ever forget. Let your fiancé know he can count on me to make it memorable. Okay, I'll talk to him and get back to you. Don't worry, I'll persuade him to let you make her cake, even if he doesn't want to at first. Hey, Todd, I need to talk to you about the wedding. Can we talk now? Sure, what's up? You know what? I found someone who really wants to make the cake for our wedding. She's an old friend of mine I went to school with up until we went off to different colleges. She's a baker now and she has her own bakery. Is it okay if we get her to make our wedding cake? 
Sure, I didn't know one of your friends was a professional baker. That's really great. Since we grew up together, she knows my family really well. I know her mom's really good at making cakes. I used to eat at her house a lot. So, I'm sure baking is in her blood. I think that's why Sasha decided to become a baker. That's cool. It sounds like she'll do a great job. She said she just opened her bakery not that long ago. She said she wants to make her cake to help get her name out and to help drive up business. If she's relying that much on this job, I know she's going to do the best she possibly can. Plus, she said she'd give us a discount because we're friends. Well, that sounds great. Maybe we'll have to stop by her bakery sometime and sample some of her stuff. How come you didn't tell me about her before? Honestly, I didn't know. I knew she went to school to be a baker, but I only just found out she opened her own place. Well, I think it's great if she's willing to do this for us. I just hope she doesn't feel like we're taking advantage of her by getting a discount on everything. Don't worry about that. She's profiting from this deal, too. She'll be able to tell everyone that she made her wedding cake. I haven't seen her bakery yet, but she says it's downtown, just off Main Street. Wow, this all sounds too good to be true. And it knocks one thing off our list of things to do. Now that the cake's taken care of, we can focus on planning the other stuff. Right? Even if we don't get around to sampling her cakes, we should probably stop in sometime and thank her. I don't know exactly where her shop is, I didn't get the address, but she said it's just off Main Street and 3rd Avenue. There are a lot of shops there, but it shouldn't be that hard to find. I'll have to get the address from her, or just ask around about where the new bakery opened up. I'm sure people will know. Come to think of it, I didn't even ask her the name of her bakery. I'll have to message her later. Main and 3rd, huh? That's not too far from my office. I think I might actually know the place. Her bakery isn't called The Sweet Sash, is it? Uh, I... I don't know. But her name is Sasha, and that sounds like a name she'd pick. Then the one I'm thinking of is probably hers. If it's that one, it's not that far from my office at all, and I've heard about it. One of the guys I work with told me about it. Oh, really? Yeah, the guy really loves sweets. He's the type of guy that'll buy a pack of fresh-baked cookies and eat the whole thing himself at his desk. He goes around to different places and always posts what he's eating on social media. Sometimes he even does video blogs of himself eating. I don't quite understand the big deal, but he seems to enjoy it. So even a guy like that knows about her place. That's awesome. Yeah, but... But? If it's the place he told me about, something strange is going on there. What do you mean? The bakery supposedly had its grand opening already, but that co-worker said that the place always seems to be closed. Huh. Are you sure he didn't just go before it was officially opened? Well, the bakery has its own social media page, and it says it opened last month. But every time he tries to go there, he says the bakery's closed. One time there was a note on the door saying there was a problem with the ovens, so it was closed for a few days. Another time he went and there was a note on the door again saying a family member was ill, so the owner was taking the day off. It seems like the place is never open. That's crazy. It's probably just a coincidence. He just happened to go on days when there were problems. That's likely what happened, right? It's a really small bakery, so the place is only scheduled to open like three days a week, which alone seems a little weird. But that co-worker has gone there like four different times on days when it's supposed to be open, but it's always closed with a different note on the door with a different excuse. Sometimes the notes don't even have the correct date on them. Almost like the person put up the note intending to be away for one day, but then they ended up taking the whole week off. Really? I don't know what to tell you, but I know that guy is always angry when he wastes his time going there. That is strange. But I guess since it just opened, she's probably really busy with other things. But Sasha didn't mention anything like that when I was talking with her. 
If she's busy, it doesn't sound like it has anything to do with baking. Maybe it's something she doesn't want to tell people about. I mean, the place just opened. You'd think it'd, well, be open. Yeah, you're right. But if she's gonna give us a good deal on this, I guess I'll agree to go ahead with it. She's her friend, so if you trust her to do a good job, then I trust her too. But let's not make her do some enormous fancy cake that's too difficult for her or anything like that. Okay, I'll tell her to keep it simple. It's a small reception, so we don't need a huge cake anyway. This is going to be really important for her since she just opened up her bakery. Anyway, I'll message her back and let her know what we want her to do. And I'll keep an eye on her and make sure things are going well. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Don't forget to thank her for me for doing this. Oh my god, Natasha! What should I do? I just woke up. You're kidding. Do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, I think it's like 1 o'clock or something. Yeah, it is. I've been trying to call you all day. I know, my bad. I'll head over there as soon as I can. What? How long are you going to be? You said you just woke up. Does this mean you finished the cake last night? Um... Um, what? <laughs> About that, I know I promised to make that cake for you, but... But what? I didn't have a chance to make it. You didn't have a chance to make it. You've had months. I know. I really wanted to make it. I did. I got all the ingredients and stuff ready. I was just going to get up at 3 a.m. today and start baking it for you so it would be nice and fresh for this afternoon. But? Yeah, well, I stayed up late last night playing an online game and I fell asleep at my computer. You knew my wedding was today and you stayed up late playing games last night? So, I don't have a cake made for you. But I have the icing made and all the strawberries and toppings are here. I can bring all that. How does that sound? What are you talking about? That's not funny. We can't serve icing and strawberries to the guests. I figured as much. Okay, no problem. Since I don't have the cake made, I guess there's no point in me going today. You can take my name off the list for the dinner and reception. What? And I'll give you your wedding present the next time I see you. Don't worry, I didn't forget that. Enjoy your special day. Wait, hold on. What do you mean you're not coming today? I slept in and I don't have the cake for you. I let you down. I can't show up to your wedding after all that. I guess I'll just stay home today. You're already on the list. The catering is paid for. You staying home now isn't going to help me in any way. And what am I supposed to do about the wedding cake you promised me? I've already paid you for it. I'll give you your money back later. Don't worry about that. What? I guess it looks like you'll have to get married without a wedding cake. Maybe someone can pick up a few cakes from the grocery store bakery or something. I don't know. Don't worry about it. Everyone goes to a wedding to see their bride and groom. Nobody will care if there's a cake or not. It'll be the last thing on anyone's mind. Enjoy your day. Sasha, honestly, you want me to pick up a cake from a grocery store that would only feed a few people? I thought you wanted to make the cake for me. You practically begged me to give you the chance to do it. But I didn't make the cake, so what do you want me to do? I can't give you something I don't have. What do you want me to say? I get the feeling you don't even care about what you did to me today. And you know what the worst part is, Sasha? You haven't once apologized to me about this yet. What? We're friends. We've known each other since we were kids. I shouldn't need to apologize with words. You know I feel bad about this. Besides, it's not like I was charging you regular price anyway. What you gave me barely covered the cost of the ingredients. I paid what you asked me to pay. Well, you should know that you get what you pay for. At that price, you should have expected some hiccups. Some hiccups? I didn't get anything. There was no product delivered at all. 
I just opened my shop. You should know I'm too busy to handle the wedding right now. I'm tired from working all the time. That's why I couldn't get up on time today. But you approached me about this job. And your bakery is only open three days a week. How can you be so busy and so tired? And like I said, you set the price. And I paid you in advance because I knew you just opened the bakery and were strapped for cash. Stop bringing up the fact that you paid in advance. I told you I'd pay you back the next time I see you, so stop throwing that back in my face. There's no point in you getting angry with me. It's not going to magically turn back time and change the outcome. I can't give you a wedding cake today, and that's the bottom line. I can't believe how you're acting. I thought we were friends. Do you have any idea what you've done to me? And yet you're treating me like I'm the bad guy here? But you know what? I don't like the tone you're taking with me either. The bottom line is I'm not going today and there's no wedding cake for your wedding. But try to enjoy your day. It's already finished, don't worry. Huh? You don't have to tell me I will enjoy my day. I'll tell everyone you canceled and you're not coming. Wait, hold on. What do you mean it's already finished? Do you mean the wedding ceremony? Are you telling me you didn't even read the invitation? You know it's after one o'clock already, don't you? It's not an afternoon wedding with a dinner and reception afterwards. We had the ceremony in the morning and everyone came back to my uncle's house for a huge lunch followed by the reception. We did it this way because my uncle has a beautiful house with a huge backyard overlooking the lake. So what I'm trying to say is the ceremony is over and lunch is being served now. So I guess you won't have time to buy a cake then, huh? I guess you'll have to go without a cake. I'm really sorry about that. What? We have a cake. What? How did you find someone to make you a wedding cake on this short notice? Even if you called around this morning, that's not possible. What did you do? Run to the grocery store and buy every cake they had and stack them together to make it look like a big cake? No, nobody's that stupid. I had someone prepare a wedding cake for me, just in case. Who? Your mom. What? Your mom's better at making cakes than any bakery I've ever been to. So I asked her a while ago if she'd try making a big one for me. Huh? You asked my mom to make a cake for your wedding? Why? You knew I was doing it. Because I knew I couldn't trust you with a job. Why not? You said you've opened up that new bakery of yours, but it hasn't actually been open for business a single day yet, has it? I've checked it on social media. Every single day you're supposed to open, you post a message with some strange reason as to why you can't open that day. If you've been watching my posts on social media, then you know exactly why I haven't been working. There's been a lot going on in my life right now. It's just really bad timing, that's all. Oh yeah? When I asked your family about it, everyone says the real reason is because you've overslept or you're too busy playing some stupid online game, isn't it? They told you that? I knew there was something wrong. And every time I asked you if you were okay and if you still want to do the job, you'd say you were fine and then try to end the conversation. I knew you were hiding something from me. That's why I figured it'd be faster to get a straight answer from your family. As soon as I found out you were staying home to sleep or play video games instead of working at your own bakery, I knew I couldn't count on you. So I asked your mom to prepare a cake for us, just in case. But I told you I'd make it! But you didn't. The one she put together wasn't quite as big as the one you said you'd make for me. So obviously, if you had shown up with your cake, we were going to use it as planned and just serve the other one as a regular dessert on the dessert table. But as I expected, you didn't make a cake, so we're using your mom's. It looks fabulous, and I'm sure it tastes just as good as it looks. The guests are going to get a smaller piece of wedding cake than I would have wanted to give them, but other than that, the reception will be just as we planned. So, I really don't care if you show up or not. In fact, I suggest you don't. I'd be happy if I never saw you again. 
Oh my god. I just checked my call history and there's a bunch of missed calls and text messages from my mom. I had my notifications turned off since yesterday. My phone was on silent. It looks like she's really pissed right now. I can tell you that for a fact. She's here at the wedding with us. She was upset that you weren't going to work at your bakery after she worked so hard to help you get it set up. And now that you wouldn't even bake the wedding cake you promised to your supposed friend, yeah, she's not happy with you. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? I don't care. I have other things to worry about. Lunch is served and the reception is gonna be starting after that. I don't even care if you pay me back for the cake you never made. Because I'd prefer it if I never had to see your face again. That cake yesterday was delicious, wasn't it? Hey honey, can you make cake like that? You've got to get the recipe from that woman and try. Sasha's mom, yeah, she's already given me the recipe, but... Even with the recipe, I could never make it taste as good as she can. I just don't have the skill she has. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, can you do me a favor? Can you give that recipe to me so I can just give it to that guy at work? He heard about how great the wedding cake was and he wants to try it. It's too bad there wasn't any left over or I tell you to just bring him in a piece when you go back to work. Even if there was any left, I don't think it'd last that long. I'd probably eat it before it ever made it into work. <laughs> okay, let me ask Sasha's mom if it's okay to share the recipe. I don't know if it's a family secret or not. I think she'll let me, but I'd better check first. Oh, and can you give her a message from that guy at work for me? A message from your co-worker to Sasha's mom? Yeah, he said she needs to open up her bakery and start selling cakes like that. He said if that cake is as good as he heard, he'll be spending enough money at her bakery himself to make her rich. <laughs> he hasn't even tried it yet, but okay, I'll tell her that. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear it. Natasha, you've got to help me. I need some money. You've got to lend me at least a little. What is it now? If you don't, I'm going to lose my bakery. Please, I'm begging you. Help your old friend out? What's going on? This is a little sudden, don't you think? And didn't I already tell you that I never want to see you again? That means we're not friends anymore. Don't say that! We grew up together! I'm in trouble here, you can't just abandon me! What exactly is going on? You can't just come begging for money like this without telling me exactly what's going on. Well, the thing is... My mom gave me all the money I needed to get my bakery up and running. It's her name on the lease agreement for the spot, and she's the one who paid for all the equipment and stuff. It's all hers. And now she's telling me I have to pay it all back to her, every cent right now. Oh, wow. She said it was a mistake investing in me and my business. But I don't have the money to pay her back. I don't have any money at all. I'd have to sell off everything to do it. This is my dream business. I just got it, and now I might lose it. Well, it's not like you've ever actually run the business. I mean, it hasn't been open for business one single day. But I planned on it. I really did. It's not my fault the sequel to my favorite game came out around the same time as that massive update for that MMO I like. It all seemed to happen right when my business was supposed to open. It would just never stopped. Please, you gotta help me. If I can give my mom back all the money she lent me, she said I can keep my bakery. How much did she lend you? Um, about $85,000. What? You expect me to lend you that much? I just got married. I don't have that kind of money. And let's not forget that you promised to make my wedding cake and you canceled after the wedding. I'm really sorry about that. I'll make it up to you somehow, I swear. I'll do anything. I'll bake you free cakes for life if you want me to. Please, you've got to help me save my business. I don't think I really need $85,000 worth of cake. It was just an 
example. You've got to help me. I'm not helping you. I can't. Besides, I already heard the whole story. I know your mom's going to be taking over the bakery if you can't pay her the money. What? It's her name on the lease agreement. Her name's on everything, isn't it? Including the equipment sales receipts and everything else, right? How did you know that? It's true. I can't get a loan from the banks, so mom paid for everything for me. Yeah, and now your mom wants to open up her own bakery. Who said that? She told me herself. Lots of people at my wedding were saying how great the cake was and wanted to know who made it. Up until now, she thought it was just her family and friends being nice when they complimented her on her baking. But at the wedding, she had people she'd never even met before telling her how great it was and asking her where her bakery was so they could buy more. They were surprised when she said she didn't have one. And there you are sitting with one of your own, not doing anything with it. Actually, it's not even a bakery of your own, is it? Your mom owns it all. That's why she figured she'd do something with it since you aren't. But I plan to! You've had the shop ready for how many months now and you haven't worked a single day. Let your mom have it. She technically owns it anyway. Don't say that! Why are you taking her side? Owning a bakery was my dream. I'm not going to give it up that easily. I heard from your mom why you wanted your own bakery so bad. Yeah, because it's my dream. No. She told me that after you finished culinary school, you got jobs in other bakeries in other towns. But you got fired from every single one of them because you couldn't get to work on time. You were either calling in sick or showing up late. That's why you wanted your own bakery, so you could make your own hours and show up whenever you wanted. That's the reason you decided to only open three days a week instead of five or six. It wasn't because your shop was too small. It was because you were too lazy. And since you didn't have anyone to answer to when you didn't feel like going to work, you just never went to work. No, I was busy with other things. So much stuff was going on in my life. Yeah, I heard online games, new releases, and updates of old ones. That's all you were doing, sitting home playing games. Your mom tried to motivate you and get you to go to work, but she eventually just gave up. You took all that money from her and did nothing with it. She feels like you betrayed her. You betrayed her even worse than you betrayed me, huh? I didn't mean for things to get this bad. I'll try hard from now on, I swear. I'll set a strict schedule, and I won't stay up playing games all night anymore. If you just give me some money so I can keep my bakery, I'll prove it to everyone. It's too late for that. Your mom's taking over the bakery, and I think it's a good idea. You were given so many chances, and you blew them all. Let your mom have this. She deserves it a lot more than you do. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my bakery! There's a bunch of people who can't wait for your mom to open up that bakery of hers. I know she's gonna make a killing as soon as she does. So, just admit defeat and let your mom have the business. Sasha eventually admitted defeat and reluctantly handed her bakery over to her mom. Sasha was hired by her mom to help her out at the bakery. Of course, it was decided that if Sasha was ever late or missed a day, her pay would be severely docked. From what I hear, Sasha's working really hard and is actually showing up to work now. She's hardly ever been late or missed a day since her mom took over. I also hear that Sasha's mom's cakes are flying off the shelf and that she's been asked to do wedding cakes for a number of people already. My husband also told me that his co-workers often go there at lunchtime for fresh-baked cupcakes and cookies. The place is doing really well now that it's actually open.